So I am, my personality is very linear and for it to be linear. So I'll, I'll give you an example. In um, NYU, I had a friend and his name was Kenny. He's a doctor now. Uh, he was probably my greatest competitor uh, in college. We took the same classes. We got about the same grades, basically straight A's. Uh, we were both teaching assistants. I taught uh, 13 classes as a teaching assistant as an undergrad over two and a half years at NYU. So that's pretty, pretty good. I also was a teaching assistant over the summer. So we were very competitive. We were good friends, but we were also very competitive. And we also did have different friend groups. And yeah, he is uh, a very interesting character. Uh, I'll put it that way. So I met him during orientation. So I met Kenny even before uh, we took classes together. We, we, at NYU, you have a summer orientation, uh, which I was a orientation leader for two years. And we met each other, we played games until the middle of the night, mafia style. We played mafia in somebody's bedroom until like whatever, like with like 20 other people. There were so many people there standing out in the doorway. And actually one of my friends, David, he also was, you know, I met him in orientation. So some of my closest friends uh, at NYU, I met during orientation and we just, you know, followed each other on Facebook and so on. But I really needed that individual to push me because that's my mindset. My mindset is I hate being second. I hate losing to a certain person, but it has to be a linear idea. Um, then when I went to law school, it was the same thing. There was a individual who you know played magic, and you know again he you know we played magic together. We had fun. We 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 ate at buffets together. We had a good time in law school, but you know, he got good grades. He got really good grades and I didn't quite get the good grades he did. And then so on, I mean, it's, um, when you have a type A personality, you want to push your friends and you want them to push you. But sometimes they're not really your friends that you're after. So my channel has been around for much longer than sports card investor, or alpha investments. You know, it's pretty sad that he has 6.9 years is nothing to me. Um, I've been around since the beginning of YouTube with my new law student channel since 2009. Yes, or maybe 2008. I graduated 2008, so uh, half. No, I think it was 2009. I started my new law student channel. It might have been 2008, but um, I've been around YouTube a long time, and I will still be around YouTube for a long time. I consistently put out content every single day. Uh, I'm not making a ton of money from my content in case you're wondering. I just enjoy it. It is a ritual. It is almost like exercising, which I need to do after this video. Uh, it is a fun thing for me to do. Um, but um, with that understanding of it, I always need to feel motivated by somebody. And that person in the past has been somebody called the Man of Source Wedge. Now, you might know him as a guy who stole a bunch of money from the community and left. He literally left the country. <laughs> As soon as the money from GoFundMe was released, he literally left the country. And then he hasn't posted for years, uh, years and years. And, you know, we used to compete. And again, uh, in many aspects, it was very similar to college or law school. You had a person, they were doing, they had more subscribers than you. They were doing better than you and they were shitting on you. You want to beat them. Um, you have the drive and the motivation to, hey, this is a guy and this is where, and we actually at this channel, we went to 30,000 and then became so lackadaisical about it. We actually slipped to like 26 or 25,000 and we're just finally gaining our way back up again. And that's because of alpha investments. Now, obviously, you know that I have my disagreements with him. I think the 6.9 product was, could have been done a lot better. I don't think anyone disagrees with me. You could add a lot more value to it by simple, you know, instead of a damaged card being altered, just give them a near mint beta land. I'm happy to donate them to you alpha investments if you don't have them. If you want some near mint beta lands because you're doing a mystery box and those beta lands are gonna be altered by a artist that's not on the name of the land, uh, let me know, hit me up. I'm happy to send them to you for free. I have more than enough of the basic lands, right? They're kind of valuable now 
but uh, I luckily have a just when buying collections, you you accumulate a lot of just near mint basic land, or I would say like light play. Okay, Jeff, definitely not heavy play. Um, and that wasn't really the same feeling because it was very boring. And Alpha Investments, whatever he is, he's not a confrontational guy, and he's not. I don't think he's a bad guy. Uh, and bad, I'm using that term, is just a, a generic term. Uh, this Jeff Wilson character, however, who's threatening to sue people out of silence, I think he's a bad guy. And you might be like, oh, look at how big his channel is. He has like 20 full-time employees, I believe. He's hiring for a full-time position in videography. I mean, how many videographers do you need, Jeff Wilson? You're not even going to conventions anymore. Um, and he's hiring like a part-time social media person. So don't be, so Rudy is one Rudy Chan and he, he has, he's bigger than a Jeff Wilson, which is a whole team of people. It's literally a team. Um, I've, I've seen numbers as high as 22 people. Now, I don't know if they're all part-time, full-time, but he's got people, he's got the teapot dude. He's got, got the other dude. Like some of them you see in that conventions, you see a whole video uh, crew follow him around. That is not sustainable when the card market is crashing right now. You cannot pay those people. And there are no PPP loans coming for card, for card companies that were created in a boon because they was created after the big peak, right? Um, and many times, maybe the boon was the reason that we have so many different card companies that do different things like vaults and fractional ownership, which Jeff Wilson really likes. Um, is because apps we have mojo app right which is you, you speculate on fake players uh real players but fake profiles i i wonder what the licensing on that looks like because i i think they're going to be sued if they don't get the licensing right especially if they're wearing professional like because you got to cut in the the sports leagues into whatever the licensing looks like because there was just so much money in it that money is now gone I think we all have come to the conclusion that sports cards, if you view it as an alternative investment, is not a good investment. What ha it has not been a good investment for the last year. So long story short, the only really thing that motivates me is when I have somebody I can look at and I can say, you know what, they're doing better than me today. I need to get my ass up. I need to stop eating no lobster, lobster tails. I need to exercise. I need to keep my mind mentally sharp. I need to grind. Today's Christmas. I'm going to grind. I'm going to make all these videos on Christmas, by the way. And I've never felt this excited to do stuff. So I canceled it. Uh, I'm going to not go to these uh, art exhibits I've been going to. I'm going to do what's best for me. And to do that, I need somebody like Jeff. And it's not that Jeff is a competitor. I mean, again, like I said, I'm one person doing this part time on my channel. Jeff is one person who hired a bunch of other people full time and is still hiring other people. So in my mind, I'm not going after the subscriber count because that's not realistic. I'm going after his view count. So if I can clear 10,000 views of video in 2023 towards the end, if I can get to the point that I used to be, you know, if you watch my old videos, I used to get five, 10,000 uh, views of video. If I can get to that point where I can consistently put out, you know, because I put out more videos than Jeff, if I can put out enough views, right, per video for a week, if I compare it to a week, if we look at the, uh, is it called TubeBuddy? TubeBuddy is something else I use. Um, I will be very, very happy as one person taking down an entire team of, quote, marketers, because that's what they are. They're marketers. Uh, and that's my goal. My goal for 2023 is to get more views over the span of the year than Jeff Wilson. Um, that's going to cost, you know, maybe I have to buy, I, maybe I have to buy new equipment. Maybe I have to buy editing equipment. Maybe I even have to do live streaming every day because that, you know, watch time is really, really helpful when it's a two hour live stream. I don't know what it is, but I am definitely going to crush Jeff Wilson in terms of views in 2023 with his 20 person team or I don't know who even knows how many people are part of his team um, and how many people come. I, I imagine that the turnover for that type of business is very high because I mean, he's still hiring right now. He's not hiring for his marketing agency, Free52. 
right? When you, I went on their website today, there's no one looking for that. Um, but he's hiring a videographer and a part-time social media, possibly remote person. The videographer has to be in Atlanta. I don't know what he's doing with all these videographers, but it seems very wasteful uh, in terms of money. Uh, videographers are not cheap because they come, you have to buy them equipment, company equipment, right? And some videographers want to shoot in this, some videographers, and he's only really producing one video on his main channel every two, three days. So it's a lot of people producing very little. I'm one person part-time producing very much. And my goal is to grow to the point, and again, the subscriber count, whatever it is, is whatever it is, I'm going to grow to the point that my videos as an aggregate for a week, because again, I make six to eight times as many. For every one video he makes, I make eight, nine. And if you count my card opening videos, I probably make a ton more. I'm going to take that philosophy and put it on Gutterless, my other channel, and then put it on Runrex, which he knows about because he's sent his lawyers to do to his research. So he knows I have two other YouTube channels. Um, he sent his goons, Michael, Michael, right? Michael has been trolling me a lot. He's been leaving me hateful uh, voice messages on Christmas. And I kind of want to publish them, but he's mentioning your mother is a blank. Your mother is a blank. You are a blank. Your business is a garbage can. It's uh, probably not safe to put on YouTube. Maybe I have to edit out the, you know, <laughs> so I have to learn editing. Uh, but one day I will make a video of, um, of, you know, like the trolls, I guess, that leave voice messages. That's why I don't pick up my phone anymore. It's, it's just not, not cool. Anyway, bye guys.